Here we're working with a three-part kidney model. I'm going to zoom in and go through each part one at a time. This indented region right here of the kidney, this is the hilus of the kidney. This region right here is the medullary region or the medulla and it's made up of individual pyramids. Okay, now they look triangular in shape here, however, keep in mind that this is a three-dimensional object. So if you consider this as three dimensions, it looks more like a pyramid, hence the name renal pyramids. Together, these renal pyramids collectively are called the medulla, the medullary region, the middle region of the kidney. The cortical region, or cortex, is on the outside here. This is the cortex, and this is the medulla. This pointy part of the pyramid right here is the renal papilla. Okay? Papilla refers to a pointy finger-like projection, and that's what these look like. Now this is going to be the renal artery, and the renal artery is going to branch into segmental arteries to bring blood to the different segments of the kidney. Branching off the segmental arteries, we have the interlobar arteries. This right here is an interlobar artery as well as this and this and this. They're called interlobar arteries because they're located between the lobes. If we were to cut out a lobe of the kidney, we would cut out this dark portion right here which is the pyramid as well as the cortex associated with that. Then these interlobar arteries are going to branch and form arcuate arteries and those arcuate arteries are going to arc around the back of these pyramids. Branching off the arcuate arteries we have these interlobular arteries. Okay, They're between the lobules and the cortex here. These interlobular arteries are also known as cortical radiate arteries because they're in the cortex and they radiate outward like the rays of the sun. Branching off the interlobular arteries, we could see teeny tiny little afferent arterioles going into these glomeruli here. The veins would drain the opposite is the arteries, so we've got the interlobular veins or cortical radiate veins, we've got the arcuate veins, we have the interlobar veins, we'll have segmental veins leading into the renal vein. Here we can see some peritubular capillaries. The urine will drip off these papilla and be collected by these small cups right here, or minor calyces. Calyx means cup. Now those minor calyces will dump the urine into a major calyx, which is down here, okay? and then the major calyces would dump the urine into this renal pelvis right here, and this renal pelvis will funnel the urine into a ureter. So this is the ureter over here. This thing right here, if you look at this structure, what we're looking at is a renal papilla as it connects to a minor calyx, but we're looking at it end on. So we're looking at it in this direction or in this direction here. That pyramid is going to be underneath this, spreading out underneath all of this tissue here. These little balls right here, those are the glomerular capsules or Bowman's capsules. This right here is a collecting duct. It's going to collect urine from the nephrons. Here's a nephron right here with a loop of Henle. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.